Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we explore interesting facts about the United States of America. Today, we will be diving into 10 fascinating tidbits about this diverse and vast country. From its rich history to its unique culture, there is so much to learn about the land of the free and the home of the brave. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by the wonders of the USA. Let's get started. Fact number one. Lollipops were invented in New Haven, Connecticut. Lollipops, those sweet treats on a stick, have been a beloved confection for over a century. In 1908, George Smith, a resident of New Haven, Connecticut, had a stroke of genius when he decided to create a candy that could be enjoyed on the go, and thus the lollipop was born. Smith's invention quickly gained popularity with its convenient and portable form, making it a hit among children and adults alike. The original lollipops were simple in design, just a hard candy on a stick. But over the years, they have evolved into a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and flavors. Today, lollipops can be found in countless flavors, from classic fruit varieties like cherry and grape, to more unique options like cotton candy and bubblegum. They come in all shapes and sizes, from small round lollipops to large, intricate designs. Whether you prefer a classic lollipop or a more modern twist, one thing is for certain, lollipops are a timeless treat that bring joy to people of all ages. So the next time you enjoy a lollipop, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity of George Smith, the man who started it all in a small town in Connecticut over a hundred years ago. Fact number two, in 1914, the city of Cleveland, Ohio made history by installing the first traffic light in the United States. This revolutionary invention was the brainchild of a man named James Hoge, who was inspired by the need to regulate the increasing flow of vehicles on the city's streets. The traffic light was a simple design, consisting of a red and green light that alternated to control the flow of traffic. At first, many drivers were skeptical of this new device, unsure of how to interpret its signals. However, as time went on, the benefits of the traffic light became clear. With the installation of the traffic light, accidents at busy intersections decreased significantly. Drivers now had a clear signal of when to stop and when to go, making the roads safer for everyone. The success of the traffic light in Cleveland quickly spread to other cities across the country, leading to the widespread adoption of this new technology. Today, traffic lights are a common sight on roads around the world, helping to regulate the flow of traffic and keep drivers safe. It all started with that first traffic light in Cleveland, Ohio, a simple yet revolutionary invention that changed the way we navigate our streets. Fact number three. Did you know that the current flag of the United States was designed by a 17-year-old high school student? That's right, Robert G. Heft, a junior at Lancaster High School in Ohio, created the 50-star flag as part of a school project in 1958. Heft's design was chosen out of over 1,500 submissions and was officially adopted as the national flag on July 4, 1960. Heft's design features 13 alternating red and white stripes to represent the original 13 colonies, along with 50 white stars on a field of blue to symbolize the 50 states in the Union. The stars are arranged in nine rows of alternating five and six stars, with each star representing a state in the order of its admission to the Union. Despite facing some initial skepticism from his teacher, Heft's design ultimately gained widespread acceptance and has become an iconic symbol of the United States. Heft went on to attend the University of Akron and later became a high school teacher himself, continuing to inspire students with his story of perseverance and creativity. So the next time you see the American flag waving proudly in the breeze, remember that it was the vision of a determined teenager who believed in the power of his own ideas. Fact number four. The United States has not only found the most dinosaur fossils, but it also has the most variety. The United States is home to a vast array of dinosaur fossils, making it a treasure trove for paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike. From the towering Tyrannosaurus rex to the swift Velociraptor, the U.S. boasts an impressive variety of dinosaur species that once roamed the Earth millions of years ago. One of the most famous dinosaur fossils found in the U.S. is the Tyrannosaurus rex, 
a fearsome predator with sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Discovered in Montana in 1902, the T-Rex has captured the imagination of people around the world with its massive size and ferocious appearance. Another iconic dinosaur fossil found in the U.S. is the Triceratops, a herbivorous dinosaur with three horns on its face and a frill around its neck. Fossils of the Triceratops have been found in states like Wyoming and South Dakota, shedding light on the behavior and anatomy of this fascinating creature. In addition to these well-known dinosaurs, the U.S. is also home to a wide variety of other dinosaur species, including the Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, and Diplodocus. With each new fossil discovery, scientists are able to piece together more information about the ancient world and the creatures that once inhabited it. Overall, the United States stands out as a leader in dinosaur fossil discoveries, providing valuable insights into the prehistoric past and the incredible diversity of life that once existed on Earth. Fact number five. The largest mammal in all of North America is the bison. The bison, also known as the American buffalo, is the largest mammal in all of North America. These majestic creatures can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and stand over six feet tall at the shoulder. They are known for their massive heads, humped shoulders, and shaggy coats of fur. Bison are herbivores, feeding on grasses, sedges, and other vegetation found on the plains where they roam. Historically, bison were a vital part of Native American culture and played a crucial role in the ecosystem of the Great Plains. They were hunted for their meat, hides, and bones, which were used for tools and other necessities. Unfortunately, due to overhunting and habitat loss, bison populations declined dramatically in the 19th century. At one point, it was estimated that there were only a few hundred bison left in North America. Thanks to conservation efforts, bison populations have rebounded in recent years. Today, there are over 500,000 bison in North America, with many living on protected lands and in national parks. These iconic animals serve as a symbol of the American West and are a reminder of the importance of preserving our natural heritage. Fact number six. Ben Franklin was an inventor and scientist. Benjamin Franklin, a man of many talents and accomplishments, was not only one of the founding fathers of the United States, but also a renowned inventor and scientist. His innovative mind led to the creation of several groundbreaking inventions that have had a lasting impact on society. Among his most notable inventions were bifocals, which revolutionized the way people with vision impairments could see clearly, both up close and at a distance. The Franklin stove, designed to be more efficient and safer than traditional fireplaces, helped to improve heating in homes during the colder months. In addition to these inventions, Franklin also created the urinary catheter, a medical device that has since been used to assist patients with urinary retention issues. His swimming fins, designed to help people move more efficiently through water, have also become a staple in the world of swimming and water sports. Not only was Franklin an inventor, but he was also a key figure in the formation of the United States. As one of the signers of the U.S. Constitution, his contributions to the founding of the nation are immeasurable. Benjamin Franklin's legacy as a founding father, inventor, and scientist continues to inspire generations of innovators and thinkers to this day. Fact number seven. The GPS is operated and maintained by the U.S. Air Force, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, is a network of satellites that orbit the Earth and provide location and time information to users all around the world. What many people don't realize is that the GPS is actually operated and maintained by the U.S. Air Force. The Air Force Space Command is responsible for overseeing the GPS satellites and ensuring that they are functioning properly. They monitor the satellites from a control center located in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and make any necessary adjustments to their orbits or configurations. There are currently 31 GPS satellites in orbit, with at least 24 of them operational at any given time. These satellites are spread out in six different orbital planes, ensuring that there is always at least four satellites visible from any point on Earth. The GPS system works by using a technique called trilateration, 
which involves measuring the time it takes for signals to travel from the satellites to a receiver on the ground. By comparing the signals from multiple satellites, the receiver can calculate its exact position with a high degree of accuracy. So the next time you use your GPS to navigate to a new destination, remember that it's thanks to the US Air Force that you're able to find your way with such precision. Fact number eight, the first fatal aeroplane crash happened in the United States. On September 17, 1908, tragedy struck the United States in a way that had never been seen before. It was a day that would go down in history as the first fatal airplane crash in the country. The pilot, Orville Wright, was attempting to demonstrate the capabilities of the Wright Flyer to the U.S. Army at Fort Myer in Virginia. The aircraft had been flying for only a few minutes when disaster struck. As Orville Wright made a turn, the Wright Flyer suddenly nosedived towards the ground. The impact was devastating, resulting in the death of Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge, who was a passenger on the flight. Orville Wright himself was severely injured in the crash, suffering multiple fractures and a concussion. The investigation into the crash revealed that a propeller blade had broken, causing the aircraft to lose control. This tragic event served as a stark reminder of the dangers of aviation and the risks involved in pushing the boundaries of flight. Despite the loss of life, Orville Wright continued to pioneer advancements in aviation, determined to improve the safety and reliability of aircraft. The first fatal airplane crash in the United States was a somber moment in history, but it also marked the beginning of a new era in aviation safety. It was a stark reminder of the risks involved in pushing the boundaries of flight, but it also served as a catalyst for advancements in aircraft design and safety protocols. Fact number nine, the US purchased Alaska from Russia for just $7.2 million. In 1867, the United States made a historic purchase from Russia, acquiring the vast territory of Alaska for a mere $7.2 million. This deal, known as the Alaska Purchase, was negotiated by Secretary of State William Seward and Russian Minister to the United States, Eduard Stockel. At the time, many Americans viewed the purchase as a foolish decision, dubbing the territory Seward's Folly or Seward's Icebox. However, over time, Alaska proved to be a valuable acquisition for the United States. Alaska is the largest state in the U.S., spanning over 663,000 square miles and boasting a diverse landscape of mountains, forests, and glaciers. It is also home to a rich array of wildlife, including bears, moose, and whales. In addition to its natural beauty, Alaska is rich in natural resources, such as oil, gas, and minerals. The discovery of gold in the late 19th century sparked a rush of settlers to the region, leading to the development of cities like Juneau and Anchorage. Today, Alaska is a vital part of the United States, contributing to the nation's economy and serving as a strategic military outpost. The Alaska Purchase may have been criticized at the time, but it ultimately proved to be a wise investment for the United States. Fact number 10. The U.S. President earns a salary of $400,000 a year. Did you know that the President of the United States earns a salary of $400,000 a year? That's right. The leader of the free world is compensated with a hefty paycheck that is set by Congress. This salary has remained the same since 2001 when it was increased from $200,000. But wait, that's not all. In addition to the $400,000 annual salary, the president also receives a $50,000 expense account, a $100,000 non-taxable travel account, and a $19,000 entertainment budget. On top of that, the president is provided with a fully furnished residence in the White House, complete with staff and security. Now you might be thinking that $400,000 is a lot of money, and you're not wrong. However, when you consider the immense responsibilities and pressures that come with being the president, the salary starts to seem a bit more reasonable. The president is tasked with making decisions that affect the lives of millions of people, both in the United States and around the world. It's a job that requires a tremendous amount of time, energy, and dedication. So the next time you hear about the president's salary, remember that it's not just about the money, it's about the immense weight of the office and the sacrifices that come with it.